Okay, so I see this complaint a lot and I think let's we'll talk about it today. <laughs> and that is, I got this wearable pump and it is not discreet at all. So let's talk about the most discreet wearable pumps. I've got several right in front of me here. We'll rate them and talk about which ones might be the best if you're looking for the most discreet pump. If you're new to the channel, my name is Allison Tolman. I'm a nurse, lactation consultant, and breast pump enthusiast slash expert. <laughs> I have tested and played with a lot of pumps. I think I've got over 60 hanging out in my office here. So this is what we do on this channel. I specialize in helping working moms combine breastfeeding and pumping to pump fast and efficiently while they are at work to maintain their milk supply and meet their breastfeeding goals. So if that's you and you want some help, we can chat down below. But let's get into this topic, the most discreet breast pumps. And I feel like this is especially important for working moms because you are pumping in public, basically, right at work. So let's dive in. I think step number one is to redefine the word discreet, okay? What does this actually mean when we're talking about breast pumps? The actual definition of that word, let me tell you, is intentionally unobtrusive, modest, or unnoticeable. And I think the best term for talking about breast pumps and pumping is probably modest, okay? Unnoticeable is just not going to happen. Like, if you're looking to be totally unnoticeable, like, I can just walk around, nobody knows anything. Like, that's just, it's not going to happen. And this is why, because you have to have a motor, okay? And motors make sound a little bit. Some are louder than others, as we'll find out. But you also have to have a place for the milk to go. So, it's not going to look totally natural. Now, I will say that it often feels way worse than it actually looks. So you're used to how things look, especially like with clothes, <laughs> like you see that all the time. So when you put in this wearable pump, you're like, oh my gosh, I just, it's like Madonna, like people are going to be staring and stuff. But it's probably not as bad to others as it is to you. So just keep that in mind. There's some other factors to using wearable pumps and pumping in public that just we can't get over or make totally discreet, totally unnoticeable. And that is like putting in the pump, okay? Especially with wearable pumps, it's not the most discreet process until you really, really get the hang of it. The alignment is really important. The bra fit is really important. And it's not just like a bam, okay, I'm pumping. Like you have to line it up, um, especially if you're using the correct flange size with a wearable pump, which you absolutely should. It makes a big difference. The alignment is harder to get it right in the size that fits can be tricky. So, I mean, I think we all have this dream of just like boop, boop, and I'm gonna keep working and no one's gonna notice. I'm gonna like slip it out and pump done, right? <laughs> and I'm not sure that's realistic. I do think there is some room for improvement in this area specifically. So I encourage companies to keep innovating, keep putting out new breast pumps for us to try. I'm gonna keep testing them and sharing them with you. So if that's your jam, subscribe or even join if you really wanna really deep dive into the science of breast pumps with me and some other breast pump experts, you can click join, it's right next to subscribe and see the like deep dive behind the scenes video where we really dive in. Okay, let's rate some pumps, okay? So this is gonna be on a scale from one to 10. And here's what we're measuring. We're measuring five aspects, okay? We are measuring the size, the weight, the shape, the sound, and how leak proof it is. Because as quiet or as tiny as it is, if it leaves your shirt wet, that's not cool. <laughs> okay, so let's start with the LV. This one on my scale scored an eight out of 10, okay? The size is great. This is one of the smallest pumps. It's also one of the lightest wearable pumps, okay? The shape is also great. I will say it's just, it's shaped really nicely so it can be very unnoticeable in the bra aside from this little button right here. So as you can see, if you have a, a supported bra with some kind of cup support in the front, you won't notice it, but if you have a um, a less formed bra that you're using, you can see that this really looks like a nipple. <laughs> so just keep that in mind if you're wearing something tight with a, a non, you know, like a firm cup in the bra, that that, that that does look a little, but otherwise the shape is really great. This did score a zero out of two on the leak proof. 
not because it's not leak proof, but because this is like the most common complaint of this pump. And it really is because of how it's designed. I probably shouldn't have popped that off like that. This is the place where it leaks in the bottle. Once it's, you know, has three, you know, four ounces in it, it's very full. And so if there's a lot of movement, it can leak at this seal. And that is kind of one of the complaints of this pump. Although once you figure it out and kind of learn it, what it feels like, we see that less often, but eight out of 10 for the LV. Okay, next up is the Willow Original, okay? Let's see how this one scored. Pretty good, six out of 10 on my scale, okay? Size, it scored one of two because it is pretty big, <laughs> okay? Weight, it scored one out of two because it is heavy. I mean, it's not crazy heavy, but it's one of the heavier wearable pumps. The shape, it also scored one out of two. It does look like a nice shape, but a lot of the weight is on the bottom of this pump. So it can kind of like pull forward a little bit, if that makes sense. It's also pretty voluptuous in <laughs> inside the bra. Sound, it also did score a one out of two. This is definitely not the quietest pump. When it's trying to establish suction, it is pretty loud. Once it gets suction and it's just like going, it's not bad at all, but it's that finding the suction that drives me crazy. But once you figure out how to use it well, you can kind of make that time really short. Once it's in, it should be good to go. The leak proof, this scored two out of two. So this is the only pump really that can be totally leak proof if you use the bags with it. But even with the wearable cups, this system is just, it's just gonna work. I mean, you have to move pretty a lot for that to leak and it's only gonna leak out the top. So it's not like cut in half like some of those other designs where it's gonna leak and like leave a stain on your shirt. So this one was a two out of two on the leak proof. So six out of 10 overall for the Willow. While we're at it, let's just go ahead and do the Willow Go as well. So on my scales, this scored a eight out of 10. So actually a little bit more than the Willow original. In fact, I am recommending the Willow Go more often for people unless you absolutely have to have that leak free option of the bags, then I mean, you have to do that one. Um, but otherwise this one is less expensive. It works fine. It's got a lot, it's a lot easier to use. It doesn't have that constant section that this one has, but I digress. So size, two out of two, great size. I like the shape as well. And the weight is nice as well. Not only is it, it's a little bit lighter than the original Willow, but the weight distribution is nice. It's a lot closer to the breast. There's no weight out in front. I mean, it's not the lightest. There are definitely some lighter ones, but I, I gave it a two out of two specifically because the weight is distributed toward the back of this one. Sound, I gave it a one out of two. It's not the quietest pump in the world, but it's not definitely not terrible. It's better than the original Willow for sure. And then leak proof, I did give it a one uh, out of two as well. This is really the only spot it's gonna leak this little tiny air hole in the top. So that is a pretty reliable option. It does fit really nicely inside the bra. It has a really smooth shape as well. Eight out of 10 for the Willow Go. All right, let's do a pump from Mom Cozy and then we'll do another one from Mom Cozy right after, okay? But I get asked about this one a lot. I think probably because of the cost of this pump, it's relatively inexpensive um, as far as wearable pumps go. Let's see how it did. Ooh, darn, <laughs> I just looked at my notes. This one got a five out of 10, which is not terrible. I mean, there were some worse ones, <laughs> but it's okay, so let's dive through it. The size, I actually gave it a two out of two. I mean. It's small, right? The weight, it is very lightweight. It also got a two out of two. As far as the shape though, it got a zero out of two because the pump, you got the cup and then the pump motor on top. It's not the best inside the bra, especially if we're talking in terms of discreteness. I mean, that you will notice that. It does have a flat front. So if you have a, a more free, bra that does look a little weird and then you obviously have this motor sticking out of the top again like this is better than a flange hanging off with your nipples out right <laughs> but the shape as far as wearable pumps go yeah sound i also gave it a zero out of two <laughs> because it's not it's not quiet it's not crazy loud i mean none of these pumps are really being ridiculous in the sound factor but there are some other ones that are quieter, so I gave it zero. And then leak proof as well, I gave it a one out of two. Again, it's not completely leak proof like the Willow is, but it's not gonna give you a lot of problems that I can foresee. In fact, I, I anticipate very little problems with leaking with this pump, but still, 
It's not totally leak proof, so I did have to dock at one point for that. Okay, five out of 10 for this Mom Cozy. Here's another one from Mom Cozy. I believe this model is the M1. This one scored a four out of 10. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. The size, I gave it a one. It's a little big. I mean, it's not huge, but it's, it's big. The weight, I also gave it a one. The weight is a little bit awkward for me in this one. It's not overly heavy. I mean, it's about the same as the rest of them, but the weight is here on top, which I don't love. It's fine when you're pumping, but I gave it a one. It's my channel. I can say whatever I want. So that's what I did. For shape, I gave it a zero. Okay. I know it's round. Breasts are round, I guess, but it's just not realistic. I mean, it just looks huge and unnatural. <laughs> okay. So yeah. Okay. Anyway zero out of two on that one. Sound, I gave it a one out of two. It's not the quietest pump out there, but it's not terrible either. And then leak proof, I also gave it a one out of two. For a grand total of four. Four out of 10 for the Mom Cozy M1. Ooh, have you seen this new one from Zomi yet? This is the Zomi Fit. We just released a deep dive video on this pump. Uh, we just, I think we made it public for a while at least, uh, just so you can kind of get to know this pump a little bit. This pump actually got a seven out of 10. This has been, this has been a, an interesting little pump to explore. There's some really unique features about it that make it an interesting option, okay? Size, I gave it a two out of two, all right? Weight, two out of two, it is fine. Though it's not overly heavy and it's distributed pretty nicely. The shape, I gave it a two, two out of two, all right? It's actually not a bad shape. It is a little bit long, but that's not necessarily a terrible thing. I actually think it looks a little more natural when it's in the bra. Like I would way rather have a pump be long than stick out the front, if that makes sense. Because it just, you know, I don't know. Breasts are long too, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. They get longer with every baby you have. <laughs> I don't, not necessarily because of breastfeeding, just, I mean, pregnancy will do that too, so anyway. Two out of two on the shape. I have no problems with the shape of it. The sound, I did give it a zero because it does have a kind of a weird sound to it, which you can learn more in that video on the channel about the pump. You kind of hear what it sounds and more about that. Okay, and then as far as leak proof for this pump, I did give it a one out of two. I think, I do think it will be a little bit better than the LV, although it, you know, shaped, it looks really similar. For some reason, I just like how it goes together better. But again, that might be nonsense. So <laughs> I think somewhere between a six and a seven out of 10 for the Zomi Fit. And then there is another fun pump out on the market. We just put a video out on it. I actually don't have one yet, but my colleague who's also an expert helping us make videos has one. It's the Tommy Tippy wearable made for me. I'll put a photo right here for you. This pump has some really, really interesting features and is very strong for a wearable pump. It has a nice shape, although there is some interesting things about there. So I am excited to kind of get my hands on that and test that for you. But there's a video on this channel of her talking more about that pump as well. Maybe I'll try and run through it on the fly and tell you about it. Size, I would probably give it a one out of two. I think it is a little bit on the bigger size size wise weight the weight is fine two out of two shape i'm gonna say one out of two only because it has some interesting little handles on the top and it's pretty tall i'm interested to see how it actually fits in the bra so i'll keep you posted on that sound we'll give it a one out of two as well if i remember right Ooh, i'll have to double check that one it might be it might be fine anyway and then leak proof i think that one i might give it a two out of two it is not fully leak proof, but the way that it's designed makes it very leak resistant. And so I, I think I would give it a two out of the, on that one too. Somewhere around a seven out of 10 on that Tommy Tippy, maybe even an eight. So that's an, also a really interesting pump as well. And then an honorable mention, but it doesn't really fit in this category is the LV Stride. This doesn't really fit because it has tubing. So it's like it is a wearable, it is designed to be a wearable pump. I mean, the Freemi is very similar. It's It comes with cups. It's designed to be wearable, but it does have the tubing. So I think you lose a lot of that discrete factor that you're looking for. You have this motor separated, right? The cup is very small, like smaller than many of these full wearables, but that's because these wearables have the motor inside, right? So the shape, the weight, 
this cup does everything great except for that it has tubing and it make that makes it less discreet you know you can run the tubing out down the bottom of your shirt i'm in a scrub top today so i could definitely run this tubing down and out this could just fit right in my pocket you probably wouldn't see much and this is smaller it's very quiet you lose a little bit of that discreetness although you know pumps like that you can make it work with with some cups and tubing so if you're looking at a portable pump with some cups a couple of things to consider is the cup size a lot of the cups the lv stride is by far the the trimmest um, but you've got some from free me the legendary milk and carrot cups are a little bit bigger not as discreet as even some of these wearable pumps but that can be an option too and then you are going to have that tubing right so those are all going to be really similar as far as leaking and weight and stuff because it's just a cup right so at the end of the day you're going to have to decide which factors are more important to you you know some of these wearable pumps that we just talked about all scored very similar but in different ways you know is sound the most important thing to you are you going to be on zoom meetings so the look doesn't really matter, but the sound matters a lot. Or, you know, are you going to be seeing patients while you're pumping and you want it to be as, as unnoticeable as possible? One of my favorite tips for pumping with a wearable pump is to throw on a scarf while you're pumping. You can kind of like bulk it up here and that really detracts from what's happening here <laughs> because you've just got more kind of covering up there. And I've found that a lot of the times if you don't say anything people don't either don't notice or don't say anything either. You know, we have teachers that pump while they're teaching, usually like sitting at their desk, but a lot of their students, especially the male students have no idea, right? The female students sometimes will notice and ask, but it's also a good teaching opportunity to be more comfortable with pumping in public and wearable pumps m make that possible. I think the biggest factor is really the modesty. We don't have the nipples coming out, so you can pump in public and not be showing skin, right? And I think that's really cool. I hope more companies continue to make wearable pumps, trying to maximize that level of discreetness for mothers. And when they do, we're gonna get them and we're gonna talk about them <laughs> because that's what we do here. If you want help pumping as in the workplace, that's exactly what I do. I specialize in helping moms combine breastfeeding and pumping, specifically to do this at work. And I'd love to talk to you if you want to. All right. I hope that helps give you an idea of the most discreet breast pumps and in what ways. If you want to check out another video, I will put that over here for you and we'll see you there. Bye.